The last two in a populate and place is area. Again, you can drop any asset here. It means you can drop object, decal, fire, anything that you want. Not just only, only vegetation, everything. First, click on the edit tool and then click, click, click a big area for creating a path, area. Just you have to click an area. You can see it's scatter the object that you drop there in this area. Like before, you can add point here, then edit them, then click on them and you can change them. But the first setting of that is a pass tension. You can make it smoother or more rough. Should be polygon mode. You can change the spacing of the object between them. For better understanding that, I make a very light object and drop it there. Drop it here. You can see it scatter any object, any assets that you want in this area. And then after that, you can edit it again, again and again. Interesting. Or you can randomly position them, pass tension. You can change the spacing between them if you reduce the number of the spacing we have more object in because uh, we have smaller number of spacing between the objects so we have more object you can increase or decrease or random spacing or probability means uh, how much um, object do you want to it's actually better understanding to that it's a little bit like a density if you increase the number of probability you have more object it's probably uh, creating that, that pass. Hmm? Um, another thing is the edge fall off. As you can see, all the objects are at the edges, but if you take the edge fall off and increase the number of the distance, you can see the object removed from the edges with the distance that you set here. Again, like before, if you click an object inside of your area, you have sitting per object, like scale offset with this number, rescaling the object, and you can see it's automatically detected the bombs of your train. Or with this number of the offset, you can randomly rotate your object. Snap on the surface, or not. If you untick that, you can change the offset of height of that. With this offset, randomly change the height of your object. Hmm? If you snap to surface, it automatically a, a, a snap to the surface. But make sure you zero all of these numbers before. Uh, you can see they are just aligning up if you align them, it's automatically aligned on the curve of your train. And again, you can copy your area with click them, holding Shift or Control C or Control V, and copy it anytime that you want. And after that, you can click on any of them and make sure that you are in correct object. Click it and you can edit it at any time that you want. You can scatter any object that you want. For example, I drop cylinder and now you can see that.